Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have yet another humble bundle of interest to game developers and this one is a collection of ebooks around the topic of programming and this was from No Starch Press. Now I do have to warn you right up front, a lot of these books have been in a previous bundle. I'm going to point out which ones I can detect and the bundle that it was but if you have never picked up a No Starch bundle before, these are kind of no-brainers. Basically if it boils down to there is a single book in that bundle that looks of interest to you, it is cheaper to buy the entire bundle than it is to buy just the digital version of that book. And for the most part, no starch books are pretty good. Now, if you don't know how this works, Humble Bundles are a collection of stuff, in this case, eBooks around a common theme, in this case, programming. You decide how your money is allocated between the publisher, between Humble, between charity, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do, to support Game From Scratch. As always, they are organized into tiers. You buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all of the tiers below it. So let us take a look at the $1 tier. At this tier, you get Think Like a Programmer, The Python Playground, Wicked Cool Shell Scripts, and Learn Gen. Java the easy way. Generally, they're up to date with the most recent versions that you can buy. Uh, and this one, yeah. So there's not a lot at the $1 tier. If you're into learning Java, I suppose uh, this could be an interesting one. It's more of a conceptual book as opposed to a language specific book. Uh, but then we jump up to the $12.64 Canadian, probably eight or nine bucks US tier. Here you get the secret life of programs, uh, understand computers, craft better code. That could definitely be interesting if you're looking for more of a conceptual book. And then C++ Crash Course, which I think is where a lot of people are interested in learning when you want to have a book for a topic. It tends to be the more complex subjects such as C++ or possibly the Rust programming language. Now do be aware this version right here, uh, you can actually get this book for free online as a web page, I do believe. So uh, don't buy the bundle specifically for this book, but if you are looking for a Rust book, there is a Rust book in this bundle. And then we get uh, Bayesian Statistics the Fun Way, uh, Understanding Statistics and Probability with Lego, with Star Wars, Lego, and Rubber Ducks. So actually statistics are actually pretty important in the world of game development, so there could be some value in learning that way. Uh, the Linux Command and the impractical Python projects. And then we get to the final tier, uh, the $22.75, I'm guessing $15 US tier. Uh, we get Understanding the Machine, uh, Write Great Code Volume 1, Understanding the Machine, Write Great Code Volume 2, Thinking Low Level, Writing High Level. So those of you that wanted to get you know closer to the metal, we have three particular books in this entire lineup that are really around that theme. Then we got uh, Write Great Codes Volume 3, Engineering Software, and we got PowerShell for Sysadmins Workflow Automate, uh, Automation made easy. And then finally, our bro Cthulhu makes an approach here with Effective C, an introduction to professional C programming uh, right there. So that is the, the, the books in general. In terms of programming language, we've got, we got Java, Python, a number of different shell and command line type things going on, C++, Rust, uh, and then C. So there's a pretty good gamut of languages covered there. The only one that's really jumping out to me as missing is um, C Sharp and maybe JavaScript, TypeScript. Actually, I think there was a JavaScript in here somewhere, wasn't there? But anyways, um, what you're really getting here is a handful of books more about programming in general. And those are not actually that overwhelmingly common. Um, and then some of these are more about kind of getting a little bit closer to the metal or understanding how machines actually work. Now, I come from an era where you started at the metal, so a little bit less useful for me. But if you're from this modern world, in some ways, the machine that you're programming for is so abstracted away from you that it could be a little bit confusing to go ahead and understand. Now, with all these humble bundles, I buy them, even though I own half of these books because of previous bundles, hey, I bought it anyways to let you know what you're going to get. And in this case, you're getting every single book here in all three major ebook reader formats, so PDF, EPUB, and Mobi formats. So no matter what you're reading it on, I think they probably got you covered. And once again, the way this boils down to it, if there is a single book in that list that was appealing to you, no brainer to pick up the entire thing. It's generally one of these books on Amazon and Kindle format will generally cost you more than the $15 that the entire bundle did. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and pick the biggest PDF here. These look like 13 megabytes. Yeah, 13. Me oh, no, 15. All right. So here you go. This is how fast their servers are. So it's downloaded in there. So as long uh, as you want to go ahead and grab these things, you can pull them off their servers as much as you want. So you can basically use Humble as a library. Cool thing is they do have search engine functionality there. So for your stuff, you can actually go in uh, to your purchases and actually do a search for a given topic and find all the books you've got there. So if you, like me, are a massive hoarder, you probably, if you need a C-sharp book, uh, you can basically come on in here, uh, go to your library like so, and then uh, enter in whatever particular topic you are looking for. Um, so let's say I'm looking for C++ books. I come up here and we probably find a scary number of things because again, I buy all of these things. So uh, hoarderly hoardering, 
Come on. Okay, well that makes for a great demonstration. Oh, it's just really slow. All right, there we go. So there's all of the various different books. Oh, okay, now it's now it's gone. Anyways, you get the idea. You get a giant library of books that you can work from. Now, I did mention earlier on that this one uh, was very similar to a previous book uh, bundle that they had. They had learned to code the fun way, and um, this consisted of Think Like a Programmer was in there, Learn Java the Easy Way was in there, uh, the Rust programming language book was in there, and the C++ Crash Course were in there. And then Secret Price, uh, Secret Life of Programs was in there as well. So about 50% overlap with that ev um, earlier book collection. So do be aware that if you are a regular humble hoarder, check to see that the book that you potentially want isn't already taken because there's a pretty good chance uh, that it's it's there somewhere. Um, so here, I'm going to use something other than C++. I'll do a search for effect. Uh, I'll even try to spell it right, effective. So it's a real-time search, and that's why it's slowing down. So there you can see the effective C and the awk program or whatever. So just come on in here, do search your past library to make sure that the book you're interested in isn't already in your collection, because these have been featured in the past. But for the most part, No Starch books are generally pretty good. I always love to hear your opinion on this one, what you think of No Starch Press. Let me know that in the comments down below. Uh, also, you'll notice this one, this bundle I covered in the past, the Fresh Game Dev Start Asset Bundle. Uh, it actually got a few more days added to it, and it had another five or six assets added in. So if you already picked that one up, go check. You've got some more free stuff to work from. And if you didn't pick that one up, I'll toss this link down below as well. It's a really good bundle if you are looking for uh, game art kind of thing. And it, it's expiring in the next two days as well. But otherwise, this is the, uh, what did they actually call this thing? Uh, Learn You More Code by No Starch Press. Uh, what do you think? Let me know in comments down below. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.